So the month of February is finally coming to an end and here are my top 5 apps of February that you might want to install. In this video, I'm bringing to you one to-do list, one launcher, one music app that is a music player, one wallpaper player and then one keyboard. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel. Please if you are new here, hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video like this, you'll be the first person to see it. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So number one on my list is called Tick Tick. Well, if you are somebody like me who is trying to blend YouTube, freelancing and school together at the same time, at a point in time you might need this kind of apps to control your day for you that is at the beginning of the morning you set all your to-do list and then you're going to follow it this app is very simple to use very user friendly and i'm going to walk you through now how this works is that if you click on the plus sign over here it allows you to assign a new tax that you want to do for example i want to go to church like you assign it and then you add it to your to-do list now when you are done doing it all that you need to do is to scroll to the right side a little bit like this and it adds it to the completed part very simple as that so after you've set the tax that you want to do you can actually add something to it, like a description so let's say you have your second lecture at 2 p.m you can just add 2 p.m to it to indicate when you have the lecture and also you can set it on a high priority a medium low or none so if it is a very high priority like a lecture is a very high priority you set it to remind you additionally you can play around with the settings over here we have different types of teams that you might want to use i'm currently using the free version and then you can pick a whole lot of teams like the pink one over here it looks good on the app so when it comes to the quick settings over here also you can decide on whether what you want on your tap bar and then you can play around with the settings it is very easy to use and very user friendly i recommend this app to you number two on the list is chroma keyboard if you are tired of using the keyboard that your phone provided for you when you got it chroma keyboard is a very simple keyboard that adjusts to the kind of app that you are currently using so for instance if i go to my twitter account over here and i want to tweet something over here the moment i click on this particular app i can go to my keyboard settings over here and then since i've installed chroma keyboard i can choose the english that is the united kingdom and then choose the chroma keyboard so automatically it adjusts to the type of app the color of the app that you are using so it is as simple as that Almost all features that is provided by a typical keyboard can be found in the Chroma keyboard. It doesn't only happen to Twitter, it adjusts to Snapchat, Instagram and all the other. If you purchase the premium version, you will have the opportunity to use the gradient and then some couple of things that you can use over there. So the Chroma keyboard is a very simple keyboard that you can install. Next on the list is Resplash. Now this is a wallpaper app that is very sleek and very simple to use. They provide, these are real pictures that are taken by real photographers and provided for you. So you can come to the new section, that is the pictures that has been uploaded recently. Also you can go to the feature parts, that is the ones that has been downloaded mostly and then you can go to the collection and then you choose from the collection given to you. So as per what you want to do, something like this, so if you want something like this you just click on it it displays the photographer that took this picture so we have a couple of pictures that you can use for your wallpapers any one of them that you want you just click on it and then when it loads for you all that you need to do is you tap on the small icon over here and then you can set it at your wallpaper straight away or you can download it and save it later as your wallpaper and they are all free and you don't need to credit anyone they are just free you can browse through a lot of them and then you save any one of them that you want to use as your wallpaper so next on my list is called musicana this is a very simple and very good looking music player that you can use the first thing that i love about this is the design it is very sleek and very simple to use also 
if you click on any player or any music that is playing and then you display it its cover art photo will be winding over there like that and it's very simple it picks it and blur it at the background also if you want to listen to the lyrics straight out from here you just hit on the three dots over here and then you click on the lyrics sign over there so it gives you the lyrics only if the music is very relevant and adds lyrics additionally when you drag the screen over here it gives you this smooth animation and that makes it very nice over here you can set the equalizer you can do a little settings and then you can purchase the pro over here so you can basically set your equalizer to how you want to listen to your songs and all that and then you can additionally purchase the pro pack over here and then you can go to the settings and then do a whole lot of things from here i wish i could show you when you swipe your hand over and then it changes the music that is playing for you you can play around with all these settings the identify some feature in this app even makes it more interesting as even if you don't know the kind of song that you are playing you can use this identify song by tapping on it and then it identifies the type of song only if it is very relevant to be known so it identifies the song for you to know the type of song that you are playing finally on my list is my launcher for the day so if you're an android user and you want to customize your phone to make it look like an iphone this is the right launcher that you have to use all that you have to do is you download the ios launcher and then you install it afterwards you go to your phone settings and then you go to apps so you navigate through the apps to find the ios launcher so i've got it right over here and then when you click on it you navigate to the down part and you select the home screen over here so the current launcher that i'm using is the samsung experience home so when i select my ios launcher it is going to set as the default launcher and when i turn back to my home screen wow this is what i'm having and that is it i've customized my android phone basically to look like an iphone on all the apps we take the form of an iphone basically something like unless otherwise somebody is going to see samsung samsung on your phone and they are going to ask you why you have having samsung on an iphone so that is it those are my top five apps of the month of february let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are and let me know in the comment section also what your favorite apps are thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye